Welcome back to another SJ Games Live. As you can see by my shirt here, we're going to be talking about Castellan. Castellan is a release from a couple years back that we had, but uh, we wanted to show it to everybody because we haven't had a chance to cover all our classics on the channel. So we're going to give you an idea of what this looks like. One of the coolest components that we have in any of our games in general, these are cool plastic towers. And uh, we're going to show you how to play it. Castellan is a game about building castles. You're actually just building a castle together with your opponent. Uh, but you're trying to control different areas using these cool colored towers. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most uh, towers, uh, most points, uh, wins the game. So you're trying to compete, but you're also building one castle. So it's got a little bit of a building that mechanism. And you've also got all these cool plastic towers to build with and walls and stuff. So uh, let's actually take a look inside the box first. And uh, I'll give you an idea how it's played. So first up, obviously it's a, kind of an interesting box here. Most of the game is in this box at the bottom, but we're going to have these at the top to take off so let's go ahead and get those pieces out of here see if I can actually get them off we're gonna try to cut them off here I'm bad with this because I don't have any nails right now unfortunately there we go there it is cool and so you can get your first look at some of these pieces I'll just lay them out here these are all interlocking towers and wall pieces. And then you have the colored little stronghold pieces that you use to claim your areas. They fit really nicely. It's kind of like playing with a Lego or something like that. It's got a cool vibe to it. And you can fit them all together like that. I'll try to take one of these towers off so I can show you a little zone here. And that's like a courtyard that you would put scores in. So let's finish unboxing this and I'll show you a more in-depth look at the game. So we'll pop these sides here. Oop, almost, there we go. I don't know if there's anything in the top left. No, nope, nothing left in the top. So it's all this bottom pretty much. This is cool. So it actually all fits in this really compact spot. So it's a really good uh, way to store a two-player game. It really travels well. We got the rules. We got some cards here, which I'll show you in a moment. We got more of those colored towers in red and blue. We got the longer walls, the towers here, and the shorter walls. Uh, so let me move the box out of the way, and I'll show you the cool plastic pieces. The safe with the knife cut away from yourself probably not like I'm doing maybe a little safer than that if you're getting a lot of the sound of the mic sorry about that this is a very loud little game and we get these longer pieces I absolutely love the tactile feel of plastic pieces though so this is one of my favorite games that we made oh yeah that is satisfying and then we got the cards and these cards are going to be the key to the game so each player has their own set of cards which will be red and blue players in this base game here but all these pieces but the crux of the game is that these all form one big pile and each player has their own towers and what you're doing is you're drawing cards you'll have you'll start with three cards in your hand and you can play one or more of these cards during your turn to get that many pieces. So if I play this card here, I'll be taking a long piece and two of the short pieces. And I will be building with that and trying to build on the, on the uh, towers and stuff to build the castle out here. Now, with these pieces, I don't actually have any joints to connect them to, so someone else would have had to have played there. So what I might play instead, though, I could play this piece which lets me build with this piece, this, this, and this. So I could play this little tower here, move this out of the way, and put that there, and put these two here, and that would be my turn. I could play more if I wanted to, uh, but the one catch with that is you start with three cards, but you only draw one card every turn. So if I play a bunch of cards out of my hand and build all at once, I would only be able to draw one card a turn after that, and I'd be stuck having to draw and then play that card. So you don't want to do that right at the beginning of the game. So then my opponent 
If we don't have three cards to work with, we'll just pull three random ones out of here. And what they're doing is trying to build off of the same piece here. So they could say, okay, I'm going to build with... Ooh, that might actually be a pretty good one. That could be a pretty decent one, too. Uh, let's go with this one to show you. So they could build with this piece and then two tower pieces. So what they can do is put this here, put this here, and put this here. And then, of course, they would drop at the end of their turn. Now, you may be asking where these color towers come into play. Well, that could come into play now. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to draw it up one second. Give me, there it is. Um, I'm actually going to play two cards on my turn. We're going to play these. So these pieces are this, 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 and then we get one more long one and then two, sh two short ones here. So I would be able to use all these pieces to build with, and I'm going to do this. Now I've completed one courtyard. What that means is I've gotten a tower on all the sides, and there's an open space, so I could claim the center there. These other pieces, even though I can't complete a box here, I can't actually make a courtyard, I'd still have to put them out, so I'd just do something like that. Now my opponent could use that opportunity to complete something themselves, so they could complete something else maybe. Uh, I don't know if I actually gave them an opening here, but they do have three towers to work with, and then a wall. So I don't think they actually have a spot to complete, so that's actually good. I left them open. So that's kind of what the whole goal of the game is. You're trying to not give your opponent enough openings to actually complete stuff. So you're scoring points, and they're not, even though you guys are building on the exact same uh, castle there. So that's how the game goes. You keep building and adding more pieces, and as different areas are filled in, as soon as an area is completed, you put one of your... Uh, colored towers in the side of it and that means you're going to control that area and you're going to score points for it there you go so like say if blue controlled that so at the end of the game you count your score based on how many of these towers you are in the area so if i have my blue tower here it's worth one two three four the red one even though it's a much smaller area it's still worth four points and you just go around the board until you count up everyone the game is over once all these pieces are used um, from the cards again you draw you pretty much go until the cards have all been used up and then um, you count up who's got the most towers uh, you can use once per game put double towers in one area and that would double the score of that spot so this is normally worth four since I put two there it scores eight however you may not want to do that right off the bat because you, know, you might score a bigger score later uh, like areas that might have more than one tower let's give you an example of what that might look like so this is going to be a fun one. This And this is, again, this is a really kind of a, almost a building toy for me. I get to mess around with it. I'm going to do this just to give you an example of something that's like super high scoring. Because I'm super talented and this is probably something I did in the game, right? Uh, yeah. We'll say that. So if, if I put a red tower here, it would be worth one, two, three, four, five six seven eight that's a ton of towers in that spot uh, of course that would probably be unlikely but it could happen i've seen some really crazy towers happen and that's something you might want to save and be like oh well i'm gonna score 16 now instead of just eight points and that's really the game you pretty much play like that there's a few different cards that might let you draw additional cards during your turn uh they they have uh, symbols on the cards themselves to draw additional cards usually they have uh, uh towers or something on them so less less pieces to work with uh, but that's the entire game. It all fits in this nice compact box, so you can take it pretty much anywhere. Uh, got really fun little pieces, uh, and it's actually available at your local game stores now or at uh, warehouse23.com, which I've linked in the description as well. You can check it out there. Uh, but guys, that is Castellan. So, uh, what we're doing is I'm going to be giving this copy away. I know I did just open it up, but I promise I didn't lose any pieces. Uh, so if you comment below with it, what you would name your Castellan Castle and like our Facebook page, important, very important, you need to like our Facebook page, you'll be entered to win. Sometime before next SJ Games Live next week, we'll go ahead and pick a winner and you'll 
or randomly pick a winner, and you'll get this copy of Castellan. And I also wanted to mention, for those of you, this is a two-player game I mentioned, but you can actually play it three or four players. You just have to have the green and yellow set. Uh, this is also available probably at your local game store, but definitely on Warehouse 23. You can check out that link in the description. Uh, really, it's simple. You just add the sets together. You got a four-player game. It's just It plays exactly the same. It's just bigger and cooler because you have a lot more castle to work with. And like I said, this, this game... It's really tactile, really fun, great for kids that are just learning spatial reasoning and stuff, but really fun for adults because it can be really, really uh, backstabby where you're trying to cut people off and mess up their castle so they don't score points. So really fun little game, great for the holidays. Pick it up if you haven't checked it out yet. That is Castellan, folks. And thank you for tuning in this week at SJ Games Live. Remember, enter our contest, like our page, and comment below. We'll see you next week.